This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. Here about to give you my review of the HP Touchpad, and this is the first tablet to be running the WebOS operating system, the same OS that's found on the Palm Pre phones. And I know a lot of people out there was kind of interested to see how this is going to translate coming from a cell phone over to a tablet. But I'm gonna go over not only the OS, the hardware, the design, and just really let you know whether this is gonna be a good buy for you. Let's go to first take a look at the internal hardware. So the thing packs a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon dual core processor, it has one gigabyte of RAM, and it comes in 16 or 32 gigabyte memory configurations, and also also has an accelerometer, a compass, and a gyroscope built inside of it. Now you take a look at the outside of the device. On the front of the device at the bottom you'll find a home button. On the right hand side you'll find the volume rocker. On the left hand side you'll find two speakers which works with the Beats audio that's built into the touchpad and that, those really do provide really good sound quality and really do get loud. And also at the top of the device you'll find a power button and a headphone jack. Now on the front of the device as well you'll find a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera which is used for video chat and video calling. On the back of the device you will not find a camera at all so there's only some people going to be let down by that. Now let's take a look at the screen. It has a 9.7 inch screen with a resolution of 1024 by 768 and it can play back videos and movies up to 720p HD. So the screen itself it does it's pretty good. Now it doesn't get as bright as I would want it to uh, but video playback looks very nice on it. So this total package I mean some people look at the touchpad they see the first generation iPad as far as looks and weight and everything. I can definitely say for weight it does feel a lot heavier than some of the latest tablets that came out. Um, and also the feel of it I think it feels a, a very solid and construction and the back of it feels like an iPhone 3G or 3GS the type of plastic uh, feel which can feel kind of cheap to some people also it's a fingerprint magnet but I feel that I have a very nice grip when I'm holding this tablet so overall the hardware package for the touchpad it's not that bad now let's take a look at the software and the OS. So starting with WebOS here in general, uh, right here from the home screen, you'll find that this does have the card multitasking layout. So you have all your open applications and windows there in the card format. Uh, you can swipe up to get rid of something. Um, or also if you swipe down and then release it, it's a nice little Angry Bird sound too. I just found that out today when I was getting ready to record. Uh, but anyway, you can stack up these, um, these applications or open windows into stacks if you wanted to, a stack of cards, or you can separate them if you wanted to. And they're kind of organized by task automatically, but again, you can cut Customize that if you want. At the top there, you'll find the little search box, and you can uh, do a global search across the entire platform. So you just type in something. You can choose to search in Twitter. You can choose to search in Google. You can choose to search in your email, your contacts. Um, also, this has a quick little action menu here to get to some of your um, quick shortcuts as far as updating your Facebook status and also creating a new email or message or a new memo or anything like that. So I do like the search feature um, of this platform. Now at the bottom here, you'll find a, a dock where you'll find your favorite applications. You can customize that if you wanted to. Hit that arrow button and it'll bring you to all of your applications. And now you can drag and drop some applications back and forth to your own liking. And OS also does have all those standard applications you're looking forward to. It has a native email client and calendar client, uh, note taking application, it has maps, and also a, a, a messaging system to be able to chat with your people in your Skype or your Google contacts. Uh, it also does have Quick Office to be able to uh, view or edit your Microsoft Word or PowerPoint documents. So it has all those things that you're looking forward to in a OS. Now let's take a look at the HP App Catalog, which is their app store. And I would say from day one, this thing is pretty well stocked. Now that's because WebOS has been around for a couple years now, so a lot of developers have stuck around with platform which is a good thing so you'll find all the popular applications like your Facebook your Angry Birds Need for Speed USA Today applications uh, I think it does have Pandora NPR so it has a lot of applications that uh, I think a lot of people are accustomed to now so that is a really really good thing um, and I think you have about four or five thousand applications to start off with don't quote me on that I think that's exactly how many applications you have so the app store itself or the app catalog is pretty well stocked and now let's talk about the browser. Now I must say the performance is good. Loading up web pages felt snappy most of the time and also this is loading up the full web meaning all the flash content so you can go to websites like YouTube and watch and uh, play back videos and they handled them just fine. And also to uh, the pinching and zooming, the tapping, the focus and all that stuff wasn't the best that you can find on other tablets. It wasn't better than that but it was good enough to get the job done. And also the tab interface again with this whole web OS layout is actually a card format so you can have multiple websites in, in a stack of cards and swipe through them or tap through them if you want to. So the browser was pretty decent. And now a cool feature that this tablet can do is that it can interact with the latest Palm Pre phone. So say you have the Palm Pre 3, you can actually tap that on the side of the uh, touchpad and it'll be able to transmit uh, the information from that phone to the tablet or vice versa, which is pretty cool for contacts or websites, anything like that. And also you can use the touchpad and sync it up with that uh, Palm Pre phone and be able to answer calls or answer text messages right on your touchpad itself, which is a nice feature. Now one useful feature in WebOS is called Synergy. And this syncs up all of your accounts from your Skype account, your Google account, your 
your Facebook account, any account you can name it is probably going to be able to sync up uh, to WebOS. And that's good for your calendar application. You can have all of your events synced up uh, just by logging into those accounts. And also, too, I'm just going to go on my photos application here. You can see I, I logged into my Facebook. Now I have all of my Facebook photos on my tablet. I don't need to re download them, anything like that. Everything is synced up via, via uh, Synergy. So I think this is very, very useful. All right, so overall, what do I think about the HP Touchpad? Well, I think it has a lot of good things going for it. And I kind of consider it a mix between the BlackBerry Playbook and the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. I mean, the OS is pretty nice. Uh, the, the multitasking layout with the card interface, I think it's the best way to do multitasking on a tablet. Also, the browser is pretty solid. Uh, the application uh, catalog already has thousands of applications, and most of those are really good applications as well uh, from day one that you can uh, go ahead and download to your touchpad. Um, now, the speaking again of the, the OS, though, it does feel a little bit sluggish at some times doesn't doesn't feel as snappy as or as responsive as it should be especially running on this type of hardware uh, which has the 1.2 gigahertz snapdragon processor dual core you know it has one gig of ram so it has all those things that keeps it on par uh, hardware wise with all those other tablets but it just the total execution of the OS isn't totally there yet but I can't shoot down this tablet at all I think this tablet is a really good option for people out there who want a, a choice between these tablets and if you're especially if you're one of those people who are not really fond of Android and you don't really like the restrictions of iOS maybe um, I think this tablet will be able to fit right in the middle there for a lot of people alright so that's my take on the HP touchpad but before we get out of here it's gonna take one last look at a sponsor for this video and that is HostGator HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. With plans starting at just $3.96 a month, you can get 24-7 support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They'll even migrate your current site for free. Servers are 130% powered by wind energy, unlimited disk space and bandwidth, 45-day money-back guarantee, $100 in Google AdWords credit to market your site. For Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code SOLDIERNOSE at checkout. All right, guys, well, again, like always, leave a comment down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think about this HP Touchpad and what do you think does it stand amongst the ranks of all these tablets out there. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.